Hello everybody, Berto Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so we're going to be playing The Crust. Uh, let's start a new game and let's go to the storyline. Let's uh, check this out. So, what happens is like a, a meteorite hits and it sends out a lot of debris and it wipes out just about everything that's on the moon. Pretty crazy. And a lot of the debris goes up into space and it hits the space station that's up there. Now, unfortunately, that space station is going to crash at one point or another. And we have to try to set up automation so that way we're making a lot of, um, a lot of these certain components from what I can gather. The last time I tried playing through, I got screwed over on that because I didn't have enough components. So this is an emergency broadcast. we'll see broadcast. if we can get it. We have detected an imminent asteroid collision with the moon's surface. We are currently assessing the extent of the damage and the number of casualties. At this moment, our teams are working tirelessly to restore communication with lunar outposts. For those still on the moon, be aware that we are mobilizing all available resources to assist you. Conserve your energy and ration your supplies until further notice. Copy Additional that. information will be provided as the situation unfolds. Stay tuned for updates. Over and out. All right. I repeat, Crust has declared a state of emergency of the first degree. Commercial shipments and cargo landings are prohibited. All complexes, resources, and facilities on the moon are now under Crust control. All remaining facilities should switch to emergency frequency and report their status. Conserve energy and resources. And await further in what's happening. All right, director. Can you hear me? You could have robbed there appeared. We should. All right, so there's like a massive amount of talking in this, and I'm probably going to skip through most of it because <clears throat> I can pretty much well explain to you what happens in a nutshell. <laughs> like, I, like, like I did through that intro. So now everybody's kind of like scrambling and trying to figure out what we got to do. So now we're going to start uh, by adding some power. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to start up here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And then they want five batteries. By the One, activity, two, the meteorite impact three, occurred on the far four, side of the moon. Five. We're lucky it happened so far away from our mission. But the strength of the blast wave raises a lot of questions. And now we're going to want to connect all these up. So that way, the power that these are making are going to go into this thing right here. And then we're going to need one of these here and one of these there. Um, we're also going to need a charging station for our drones. So let's go and hook that pod boy up. And then I think we're good. And we can let them do that. We'll put that on fast forward. So we can do this pretty quick. Oh, so that's down below. This also needs to get repaired, so we'll get that repaired at the same time. And then Is that all the head That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And down below, we're gonna have to do a bunch of mining and stuff like that. Electricity, but are then built Objective achieved. Awesome. Perfect. So now we're getting power. Our batteries are going to charge up a little bit. And we're going to go down here. And then we're going to have to... Oh, they're not directed. Right the explosion just... All right. Perfect. Objective achieved. Director, we need to... Perfect. Connect the modules to the network. That's good. So now we just got to come down here and connect that. That's better. I see the... Director. The drone re... All right, so now we get drones, and now we get to mine out an area and and prepare for some automation. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to cheese my mining out like I did in my previous video, but I'm not going to do, like, a massive area. I'm just going to do, like, a, a square, probably just like this. And then I'll be back when I do that. And then this way, when we start, well, we have a little bit of room and it's not going to be 
me sitting here waiting for me to, to mine all this out. So just give me a little bit and I'll be back. Movie magic, you'll be like a second. <laughs> all right, so uh, after about a year and a half, roughly, um, we managed to clear out some space. <laughs> uh so we're all the way up here now uh we have an ice up here we got a nice little silicone valley over here uh aluminum we got iron we got titanium down here there's just one silicone down there down here we found another silicone and this is iron valley so we have like three iron nodes over here which is pretty awesome um so i think that's pretty good for now um, as time goes on, we'll mine out and we'll get more resources and all that good stuff. But let's start off with some basic automation. Um, so we have this guys going doing the silicone. So what we'll do is we'll put two guys here, one guy there. So now we have people like doing the mining and stuff like that, right? Then we'll fix that. You can now turn watch that mining back drones on. extract the oxides, and working drones deliver them to the smelting furnace. Awesome. Perfect. So now we're gonna make some materials as soon as I unpause this thing. <laughs> um, obviously that's awesome. They're gonna go pick up the stuff on the ground that this one mined out. So every deposit kind of has like multiple things in it, right? So this is like a really pretty rich iron deposit because it's got 60%. And this uh, over here is 51%. So it's not bad. It's still pretty good. And then as soon as I scan these, I'll be able to find out the percentage of, of what's in there. So we should be there not far from making what we want to make, which is good. You know, I don't know why they did this. This was kind of like a waste of box because you could have just went anyways so many so many wires for nothing uh, maybe because they wanted to make it look nice I guess so where are we going here we're just missing two more just two more people two more and then we can start building doing the whole research thing and the whole nine yards um, there thank you one more. One more. And then, like, once we can... Director, Perfect. you can never have too much smart concrete, so it's worth spending time to produce it. Yeah. The pressing module requires only... All right, perfect. Director, here's the latest news regarding contracts. To resume shipments to Earth, we'll need... All right, no problem. Well, we'll get on that. We'll get on that. Produce smart concrete. So we only need a little bit more smart concrete here. Uh, do, do, do. So I wonder if that's not going to go because it's full. Well, it's not really full. Oh. That's why. Durr. It's now on. I thought I just turned it on, but anyways, I might have just fixed it and forgot to turn it on. But that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That can hold up what the 36 is perfect. It wants 35, but uh, we already have some in stock upstairs apparently. Probably lying on the ground here somewhere. Yeah, see, we got some right there. That's pretty good. Wood in the gang. There, one more to go. Beautiful. Well, right. that's a start. Yeah, that's right. Gotta start somewhere. Start small, man. Start small and work out big. Think big, but start small. All right, what's your next objective? Hurry up. Director, I'm... we have a message on the emergency channel. I'll put... Attraction. This is... The debris from the meteor... Director, my name... With all due respect... With all... Also... With all you care about... Do we pay a... Crust is going to accommodate the surviving Hope 2 crew members at your base in exchange for equipment and technologies for us to carry out a rescue mission. If you accept Crust's offer, you will lose access to the FASM contract. <laughs> For which the corporation is willing to pay up front. Okay, so more or less, it's like a money choice that you're kind of making here and uh, different contracts, I think. And you're pretty much well signing over your base to like this guy here or whatever. And either way, you get humans. I think the less stressful way is this way. 
And the more stressful way is this way. <laughs> the reason why I say more stressful, I, I don't know, 180 days. <sighs> that's three months. You have to get to prepare. I, that, that's pretty tight budget too, but um, you're going to see like, I don't know, I'm going to go with this way. Crust is capable of organizing a rescue operation independently. But the explosion damaged the system for communicating with the nearest facilities. You need communication for full operations on the moon. If we decide to... Re uh, fixing a repeater... Crust is requesting your assistance in... Res Pleasure doing business with you. Don't call me cynical, but... Well, let's not... Absolutely. I think you end up having to, like, pretty much work for them no matter what it is. Underground mining and place two extractors... All right, so now we get to do research. Now, this is where the game kind of, like, really starts to open up, and you got to start doing things in a good way, right? Yeah. All right, so they want us to do this thing here first. So we'll sign that one up. Then uh, regular for fine. We want that next. Then this, then that. Yes. And then social... I don't know if I really have anything social right now, but I will start on automatic repair, even though I don't have any blue signs coming in right now. Um, that's fine. Let's get that going. Oh, there's a lot of storyline talking in this game, and I don't want to, like... I enjoyed, like, the story, I guess, in a sense, it's like, from what's happening... You know, the, 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 the basic principle idea of, you know, you're up here complete. doing stuff and then an asteroid hits and takes out like the, you know, everything. Uh, that's kind of cool. I like that. So, okay, now we got that going on. We'll um, put the landing platform on because we are going to need that. So, they want us to regolith extractor now how do i want to do this i think what i'm going to do is have it go up and then yeah okay i'll try to plan out things so it looks nice right all right so that's there for now that will take the place of a miner having to do the job So the miner already left, so that's good. I can maybe remove two from here, maybe three. Research there you go. complete. All right, now we got the refinery. So now that's that other thing in the bottom corner over there. Let's go back to engineering. Um, nothing there yet. We'll just put on one social for now. Okay, so now that's going to need power, but I don't care about that just at this very moment, or do we? Um, 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 um. Okay, so let's put in the refinery first. Okay, so refinery, this one here, this should always be like a one-on-one, -on -one, I think. I don't think you're ever going to need more than one. With a refined, with, unless like these things get like really fast, more than what this can handle. But so far they've been keeping up when it comes time to doing stuff. So that's kind of good. We'll put that there for now. Um, power wise, I do you want that coming off the back directly? Really? Oh, it's got to come off of that uh, central hub thing, huh? All right. I do want this to look nice. I do. I'm going to go here, here, and then here for now. I will connect to there. I will connect to there. At least it'll be powered. Um, then this one I'm going to destroy now. And now I'm going to set up this one over here. So let's remove those two miners. Let's have them go back here afterwards, right? 
Then we'll do the same thing on this side. Regolith refiner. Uh, no, we want the extractor first. Um, these ones I'm going to have go this way. Yeah. And then we'll put this here. Now, here's another thing that you got to look at. See how the arrows are going through it? So, say if you have, like, multiple refineries, like, all in a line, you can pass the slag through the machine. So, that way, you only have one belt of slag coming out, which is, I thought was a really good idea. Um, I, I like that aspect. It took me a little while to figure that out, and I'm like, why? Uh, now, I, now I get it. So, um, so, slag should also come out on this side, right here. So eventually we'll have like a slag belt and then we'll be making probably bricks here, I would assume, or maybe even here. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how things go. <clears throat> okay, so those two are being built. Let's remove you as well now. Um, let's get rid of you, you, and you, you, and you. Get rid of the things that I don't need. Um, and then, then we're just going to have to wait on research for belts because that's in the pipeline and then we can have that all kind of set up automatically right so belts are next in a couple of days which isn't so bad there you go i see you get back some money it looks like you get back a little bit of material too from those from your your uh posts that's kind of cool i think it's half the material of cost that you get back right now um, then later on, I think you can get a research where you can uh, get more material cost back, which is good. Just one need. So we're going to set this to uh, Objective achieved. do that. I see in the data that the extractors have started mining. Now finish the research. All right. So I also now want to come over this way. Uh, bam, bam. Bam, bam, and I guess like this, and like that. I'll connect you and you like this. All right, I like that. Looks clean. Objective achieved. Thank you. Perfect. The regolith refinery is a mono refinery that can only produce one type of oxide at a time. Be sure to select the recipes for iron and silicon oxide to start production. Objective achieved. We did that. Director, I can... You heard him, direct. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing that. Okay, so now I have the... Uh, what the heck is this thing called? The ore detector. So I'm going to plop this bad boy right here for now. And then... We can just go off of that one and we'll let it go. This ore detector will help let us know what each one of these are and make us feel a little less stupid. You gotta watch too because like your powers during the day. So you try to want to get as many as you can in like one scan. There you go. That was good. Research complete. All right, so we got, uh, unfortunately, only one, not one. Yeah. Another iron here and a silicone. I still got enough power, so. It's during the day. We should be fine. Uh, I don't need to know what that one is yet. Um. I don't know if I did that. There we go. Perfect. So we'll just leave it as is. That one I'll come back to because I don't want to be sucking all my power away. Um, only a little bit of daytime left. Now these guys are doing their little thing. Okay, so now we got conveyor belts. Now, conveyor belts are really expensive in this game. Um, because first of all, they work with money. And depending on how much money you have is going to depend on how many belts you can you can set up. So just that right there is twelve hundred bucks. That's it's a lot of money. 
Especially when you're going to start wanting to build like longer, bigger belts, right? And then now these two are connect up, so it's always going to make its thing, right? Then you're going to want to do the same thing with this. Now, um, did I have smelters yet? I did. Perfect. All right, so now smelteries are going to exit at your end here and I think what we're going to do is I might just start them here after the slag like this alright so I'm going to put one here and then flip that around Slag comes out of that one. Yeah, right, right at the ass end of the machine. Perfect. Yeah. Alright. Like I said, I'm just trying to make this look nice. And then we'll put conveyor belts here. As long as I got enough room for that pipe to go there. Yeah, it should be fine. That should be fine. Okay, so that's going to connect. That will bring the material to here. Then we'll do the same thing to here, right? That didn't go as nice. There we go. That's pretty good. Yeah. They hugged more up. Well, it's, it's about the same. Hugged about the machine. Alright, so those are built. Um, now, let's get power to this one. Yeah, we'll do that for now. And then same with this. Then... We are going to need somewhere to store this stuff. <clears throat> now, do I... This is what I'm trying to figure out here. If I may make like kind of like a main storage here and then have the items go to it or just try to create my little item things close as possible to here, right? Because even at the beginning, like just making a belt from here to here, if that's like... Probably like thirty, forty thousand dollars, maybe even twenty thousand dollars, right? And I'd rather spend that money elsewhere. So maybe for now I can just do this. Yeah, I think that would be the smarter thing to do. And then we can just add uh, our belts like that over here. Build them both. So you're going to be the silicone thingies, and you're going to be the steel thingies. And while I'm over here doing that, uh, I can grab one of these. I'm going to do this here as well. And this way I'm always making bricks. I think that's good. All right, so let's get that on the go. That's important. All right, so first of all, what do I have researching here? So I just got that, that, that. Um, so we need the rolling mill and the component factory. Actually, I'm going to do that one first, then that, then that. Yeah. All right, so that's good. So that can go. Now, component factory is like super important. Um, I believe it's going to be like the titanium and the iron deposit over here. Uh, so we're going to let this build up. Hopefully start making me some materials really quick here. And then I need to work on power infrastructure. Oh, I didn't put you as what you need to be. So that means I got to probably do the same thing with you. Objective achieved. Awesome. Director, we managed. Okay, so they're going to give us a rover. That's pretty awesome. This rover is going to go around and uh, collect, uh, I guess, science for us, more or less, right? Objective achieved. 
Beautiful. All right, so now we go and we click on one of these exclamation mark or uh, exclamation marks, question marks. And then we select the transport or the rover, sorry, and we send him on his way. Now he's going to go out there and find out what that is. And at the same time, we're going to gain more science. So as soon as he leaves the area, we should start gaining a little bit more science in both of those. If I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. <laughs> Objective achieved. Okay. Rust has sent the coordinates of the rover. Oh, see, there we go. Now we got blue the rover there and try to deal with it. Colleagues, Director Wakes, Mr. will report the data we found after retrieving the surviving resources. Crust doesn't. So I'm going to take the resources. In this case, we need to research and build a landing platform. Crust mate transmitting message. Objective achieved. Thank you for forwarding that. So, Crust signed us up for a top secret operation without even asking the director. Apparently. All right, so let's build some more power for the morning. Um, just because I think we're going to need a lot more power. So we'll build a nice little array of power here. Um, one thing you do have to watch out is as you're building, you're going to see that this number here is going to go up. Your CPU capacity means it's your building limit. So you can only build so much stuff at the beginning of the game before uh, it no longer allows you to build stuff. And then you're going to have to like, um, I'll just connect this one like this. Uh, before you have to start building things to accommodate for that. And we'll get to that later on. All right, so that's good. They should slowly work on building that as this stuff here comes in. But right now we're having a power failure. But um, during power outages, I think it... Research complete. Thank you. Uh, living quarters, that's good. Let's do something else. Let's do the ice processing. <clears throat> so in uh, the research, uh, I'll go back to that. Oops right here uh this uh, cpu data centers these are what you're gonna have to put down in order to uh build more stuff so in the meantime we've got to keep an eye on that limit so what's up to you okay so you're missing bricks for some reason uh what is this allow taking resources there you go. That's strange. As soon as you put the conveyor belt on, it removes that uh, that purpose. It's interesting. Cool, cool. We'll try to let them finish what they got to do here. They should come get more bricks and finish this one off down here. Oh, it's not missing bricks. Okay. It was missing metal ingots. So, for some reason, you're not going the right way. There you go. That was weird. I might... Oh, because I probably built it like that, right? Yeah. That was my bad. I do that every once in a while. Okay, so you're just not going because you got no power. And hopefully daytime is very soon because we're going to run out. Um, other than that, we're doing not bad for a start. <clears throat> Just got to wait for some power infrastructure here and we'll be okay. Um, I guess we can turn this off now. I don't want them to bring regolith to that thing. That would be a waste. I got enough of it here anyway, so really technically I could just do this and this as well. And then eventually I can get them bringing regolith to this one. But right now that's like 8,000 regolith, so we'll be we'll be good for making bricks for a while. We ain't going to run out. Okay, so now what are we doing up here? Nothing. We're still waiting on daytime to kind of like get the show on the road. Pretty much. 
Let's go daytime. Because, like, uh, everything's uh, stalled out here. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. Hey, right, so how are you doing? Okay, so you've made it there. All right, so uh, let's go here. Set another expedition. You had to really micromanage that thing. I didn't realize when it actually got there and there all that all that blah, blah, blah was there. That's uh, what it was. So that's fine. Um, and they'll build this thing eventually, which is fine. So this is going. We got power slowly maybe coming in. Output capacity is 50%. So each one of these are what, just 10... 10 power, is that it? Okay, so this is like science. This is the amount of science we get for 60 days, which is pretty cool because we uh, discovered that tower, right? So let's go here right quick and make sure we have all the science good. All right, we'll go back to our guy here. We'll send him out here. I think the um, some of these missions too are are kind of random. This private lab will always give you science, so you can go back every once in a while and, and get science from it. But you got to pay for it though, so it's kind of expensive. So I don't go there very often at the beginning. Um. All right, so we are starting to get more power output capacity fifty. Research complete. Crazy. All right, so ice extractor is done. We'll go with this. You always kind of got to keep uh, this on the go and try to keep one from everything, really. Uh, okay, so things downstairs are are rocking and rolling. I wonder what our capacity, like how much power we're actually making. Like, there's your batteries, five batteries. So we only got 50 power, is that it? So the more batteries you have, the more output capacity you're going to have. But it doesn't show you how fast you recharge your batteries. And interesting. Very interesting. Because it's to see how, like, this works in correlation to your machines downstairs, right? So uh, this thing here pulls 12, pulls 8. So together, that's 20. And then there's 30. So just that is uh, 30. So that means that's another 30. So I'm pulling 60 from the system just with that. And another 14 when that's in use. Uh, make sure that says bricks. There we go. Now we're rocking and rolling. So hopefully this should help our first day go by. See, our days are almost already gone by. That's pretty insane. Um, how are you doing? You're on your way there. Awesome. You guys are being getting slowly built anyways. Should be all ready by the next morning anyways, which will be good. And then we'll be able to start doing um, different things, I guess. Um, I know I'm wasting science. All right, so what's next? What are we producing? I'm not doing any blue science. Oh, yeah, all the blue science is going there. Let's do orange. Do, 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 put that one on. There you go. I wonder if it was like blue science to tell me I'm wasting. Oh, no, I got blue there. Green. Oh, it's this green one. So it needs more. Wasting green signs. That's fine. So I think this is slowly getting built. That's good. That's very, very good. These things here are just missing the silicone. That's not bad. Unfortunately, it's nighttime, so they're not going to charge anymore. Everything's going to shut off. And we're still using more energy than what we're putting out. All right. So we got more green science for 90 days. That's not really good at the moment. That's the science that we're wasting. 
So let's go to this one over here. Perfect. All right. Um, <laughs> it's a science that we're bloody wasting. All right, let's take that one off. Social. All right, we'll do that one. Since it's just pure, pure green, right? All right, so this all gets shut down. That's unfortunate. Uh, if I turned that off, would that save something over here? No. What if I turn this off too? All right, perfect. Good stuff. So we'll play with stuff that we don't really need at the moment. We got 60 bricks. That's not bad. Um, really need this going. So that way we can have those batteries up and running for morning, right? And then because I need more power because we need to set up this soon. Very, very soon. So, yeah. And it's still sucking all, like, most of my power, right? Well, it is 60, right? Just the two of them together, and we only have 50 output. Research complete. Awesome. Perfect. Landing platform. That's Research cool. Research complete. So, that's done as well. I'll put uh, the CPU on there. Do, 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 do. We'll do the drone mining ones, because if we can get these hauling drones, these haul uh, 10 items instead of one. So, they're really good for, like filling up cargo ships and all kinds of stuff right so um we'll go that route not enough power scotty but captain's giving it all she's got she's just not enough so this should get us up to 100 power output so your batteries are just as important as your <laughs> your um your solar panels that's pretty intense it's quite the mix. Quite the mix. Because even though you have like a certain power output, you got to have way more power than you're putting out. So that's it's pretty intense. Pretty intense stuff. All right. So how's this guy going? He's out of power, but he'll trek around in the morning. Still waiting on morning to come. Just a little long. I really don't want to build anything else because it's like power consumption, right? But and while we don't have really the parts because everything else is being like taken up at the moment. As soon as we get a piece of iron, it comes out to this thing right here. Which is almost done. It only needs two more. One more. Research complete. Awesome. There's the last one of that. There's our components factory. Then it's going to make that. Um, we'll do the rare earth after that. So they're going to build this rover. This rover can go out and collect all kinds of material around the world. Or, well, yeah, the world. It's, it's the moon. The moon is Objective like a world. All right. You can't tell from the look of this old... It surprises me that they ask for his opinion about accommodating Hope too. Usually, if Cress wants something, they don't ask permission. So we'll put a landing platform right here. Um, so that way, when it comes time to fulfilling contracts, well, as you can see, the drones don't have very far to go when it comes to dropping off the material. I think that's uh, very important. And then, actually, out here... Objective achieved. We'll go here... In here, we'll just put two of them down here for now. We're ready to get started. Given the current situation, this is even to our advantage. Their capabilities on the moon now depend on us. This means we can get everything we need from them in exchange for cooperation. Research complete. Beautiful. So that was the rolling mill. That went by really quick. Um, we'll do smart concrete. Yeah. All right. So these contracts, the way they work is that you're going to have materials and you got to send them out, but only if you have the materials and we haven't started making titanium plates yet. Research complete. Um, awesome. 
research tree. Let's go to social. We'll go CPU data. Oh, I already had those two on there. So we'll go like that. Oh, it keeps the uh, the science in there too that I had. Beautiful. All right. Um, I guess we're going to have no choice but to start with making these now, right? That's going to put a little bit more of a power draw on. But uh, daytime is coming, so we should be fine. So let's just build it. And then those guys can make it afterwards. Try to do the same thing that we do over here. Oops. Um, want one of these. I don't mean to click on it every time I'm doing that. So if I go T. So their, their stuff was coming out that way. All right. We'll go like that because I want to try to keep the slag all in the same spot because then that way I can just join this slag line. So as it goes out here to whatever I'm going to do over there, then it'll be fine. Um, then which side do I want to put the roof, uh, the smelters on? Smelting furnace. Slag can go on that side. But I'm only going to probably need one of those buildings, right? So, that's what I said. Um, but then also I'm going to need that to make those other components later on. So, I'm probably best just to do something like this for now. And the items come out the front here, right? Yeah. Yeah, because then I could separate them if I do it like this. All right, so we'll do that. We'll have obviously belts coming here to there, here, to here, to here. Build those, and we'll make a storage here. That's where the items come out. You can also like right click on the screen too, which I forget a lot about. All right, so those are all connected. Now we just need to get these power, right? So let's get them power. Let's go like this and then like this you can go here 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 and there that doesn't look too too bad all right so i'll be making me titanium plates and then those titanium plates i'm probably gonna end up putting another another one of these honestly i think that's what's gonna happen here yeah because i'm going to be splitting these plates off i'm going to need more being made and this will back up i'm pretty sure so if i'm not mistaken that's what i did the last time so we'll have that go here this here and that way you're doing your thing i can then take power and plop you there all right, so that's good. I'll make us titanium plates. And then as that does its thing, hopefully I'm going to start gaining some materials afterwards. Um, this here. Titanium rod, sorry. That's what you are making. That's what you are making. And you are making titanium oxide. Perfect. All right, so that's going to be done. I do need to make another one of these making iron. Um, let's start on that now then. So we'll do iron here. Um, 
me just um, look at this here for a second. So, two, 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 component factory is the iron in that, okay? And then the rolling mill is that. So we're going to be pulling out a lot of those ingots out of there. Titanium for that. Research titanium complete. For that. That's crazy. I think that's why I needed the two titanium. I almost need three titanium. That's that's insane. A lot of titanium, man. All right, so that's good. We can uh, we can we can we can get these. I think that's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go that route first, then this route, because this is actually pretty important. It's part of the storyline. Um, so we'll do that. Now, where's our drone out here? How are you doing? Okay, you're still on your way. Now that other drone. He can come over here and we can set an expedition. Cargo. Fill. And then we want him to always come back to base. So he's going to go pick up these resources and bring them back to base. Which is pretty awesome. And then he'll find a lot of places like that later on. Sometimes we have to send resources. But uh, it's always good ones to take the, the ones that you're you're taking, right? You're, you're, you're accumulating. So this is fine. Um... This one technically could use a second one, but I'm not going to right now because I want all the power to more or less go to this one. Uh, then this one needs one of these. Like so. Slag is leaving the top. That's good. Then we're going to need smelters. Um... Yeah, so smelters back here. Yeah, flip that bad boy. Three away. Okay. Around the research post, there is a level platform in several small buildings. Wheel tracks are leading away from... These days, we can use all... Crossed tasks require significant resource investment, which means we need to seriously expand our manufacturing capabilities. Let's start producing components. Yeah, I'm working on that, old man. Okay. Don't rush me. Um, all right, let's go here. Here to here. Here to there. All right, so that's done. This to that. That's good. Build all them puppies. And, oops, wrong buttons, man. Wrong buttons. Resources. And then we'll put that guy there. Belts. To there. So, you are going to mine iron. You are going to make iron. And you are going to store steel. Sorry. All right, let's just go. That needs to happen. ASAP. All right, so this has to be turned back on. Because I am an idiot. And we're going to need bricks all over the place. All right, so how is this doing? This is good. This is good. Um, I'm going to pause that again for a second. And then we're going to make more solar panels. At least one more row of solar panels. And then I want another row of these. I know nighttime is coming, but that's fine. Uh, and then you can connect to here. Like that. Beautiful. All right, so you guys go do that. That way, tomorrow morning, well, tomorrow morning. That's like a two-week period, really. That's really what's going on there. Like, every time it goes dark. But I find it's pretty quick for two weeks. Um, So you're going. I'm not going to power you right away because I'm going to try to conserve my power. Um, You guys are doing your thing. we got got 100 power output now. So this is should run all the time with this. Research complete. But if, this will always turn off. 
<clears throat> All right. So now we got that going. That's good. Uh, let's do blue, green. So we need some more. Do, do, do. Rare Earth or I think we're going to concentrate a lot on this social. I think that would be important. Because that happens sooner than you, you want it to. Alright, so if I just turn this off for now. Because it's nighttime, right? Package delivered. Awesome. Perfect. So if we go back up top. That uh, drone brought us back stuff, so he'll drop it off here. And then this guy's almost to there, which is nice. And then after he's done, we can send that out there to go and pick up those resources. Which is good, because all you, know, you need all the extra stuff that you can get right off the bat, right? There you go. So he's going to come and drop that off. And then off he goes. And the drones are so nice, they pick it up and throw it all onto here. Beautiful. And anything I need out of this, obviously, they'll come up here and they'll pick it up, right? So, because uh, they can take and use from that. So, all right. Now we can set up another expedition for the drones to come over here. Or well, this one. Oh, I need the, uh, okay, I can't do that one yet. All right. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to wait. Okay, so the I got to go back here and do a, a scan, and I'll find some more data stuff. So we'll do that after it discovers that, which is fine. Um, what are we waiting on here? So bricks again, right? Well, bricks are the big hot key. They're the hot ticket right now. That's fine. That's fine. I just don't want you sucking all my power at the moment. We'll wait till morning, and hopefully they can have that other stuff over here built. This too is all waiting on bricks. I could prioritize the upstairs, but uh, this is also kind of a priority because we do need to technically get through get this up and running. But also need power too, right? So that's kind of kind of crappy. So yeah. That's not too bad, not too bad. All right, so I think, uh, just looking at the time, I think we're going to call that on today's episode. So we did get some basic automation going. Uh, we're going to start getting into components next time. And we'll obviously do a lot more research and basic map exploration and stuff like this. But it's not a very fast-paced game, uh, but, like, it's slow progression, you know what I mean? And once you get your progression working out, then you're you're doing pretty good. So, But uh, contracts are huge in this game to get you your money. But don't be afraid to, like, fail contracts or not accept them because the game throws them at you left and right, um, which is okay. But you got to remember, you're trying to also build uh, infrastructure here and balance making money, so... But uh, yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Peace, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.